This is Will from Brown Dog Gadgets. Today, I'm going to put together one of our solar racers. We had some old spray paint sitting around the shop, so I decided to paint mine. This step is optional, but it's a great way to personalize your racer. You can use spray paint, a paintbrush, or even wood stain to customize your car. While we wait for the paint to dry, we can work on the wiring. This project only uses half of our four-port terminal block. The trick here is to wire the positive side of the solar panel to the negative side of the motor, which will make it turn in reverse. Don't worry though, when we're done, our racer will drive forwards. Once our paint is dry, we can assemble the chassis of our solar racer. This part is pretty straightforward, so I sped up the video. Feel free to watch multiple times if you need to, though. When you're ready to attach your motor, make sure not to over tighten the screw or you might damage it. The last part we need to assemble is the axles, wheels, and gears. Note that the spacers go both inside and outside of the chassis, and inside and outside of the wheels. These small parts have a tendency to break easily, so we've made sure to include plenty of extras. In a two gear system, the drive gear turns in the opposite direction from the load gear. This is why we hooked up our motor to turn in reverse. Putting different sized gears on your car will allow it to either go faster or have more torque, depending on if you have a large and a small, or a small and a large. The last thing to do is check your wiring. Make sure it stays away from the axles and from the ground. Use Velcro to secure your terminal block. And you're done! Your solar racer is ready to hit the road.